Hey everyone, so I've got just a quick little recipe video for you today. This is one of my favourite lunch recipes at the moment. It's a raw vegan courgette with avocado pesto. So, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some courgette. I actually use about one courgette, but you can spiralise as much as you like. Two nice and ripe avocados. The juice of one lemon. Two cloves of garlic. Some fresh herbs. I'm using basil and coriander, but you can use rocket, spinach, whatever you want to put in there, you can just chuck that in. Um, and I like to top mine with fresh um, cherry tomatoes, but you don't have to, you can put whatever you like on the top. And also some seasonings, just salt, pepper, and a little bit of water as well. So the first thing you're going to do is just spiralise your courgette, cut the top and bottom off, and this is the blade that I'm going to be using. This is the perfect kind of one for noodles. I'm eating a lot of raw food at the moment because I suffer from IBS and I find that eating a lot of raw food actually makes me feel a lot better and gives me a lot more energy as well. So this is what your uh, noodles should look like after you've spiralised them. And then you just want to put all of your other ingredients into a food processor. Those of you that don't know how to peel avocado, this is the best way to do it. Don't use a spoon, peel it with a knife. <laughs> Add your seasonings, I'm using a little bit of salt but you don't have to use salt, and then blend it up until it makes this lovely creamy avocado sauce. Add a little bit of, add your little bit of water and continue to blend it and this is what it should look like, this absolute delicious creamy avocado sauce. So you then just pour that onto your courgette spaghetti and mix it in and this is the final result then you can plate it up and add whichever toppings you like I'm using um, cherry tomatoes because I really like something nice that fresh taste um, amongst it and I also put some ground flaxseed on the top because Dr Greg recommends one tablespoon a day and then you're finished This is such a delicious recipe and I'm eating it all the time for lunch at the moment. It's really, really lovely, very fresh and it just makes me feel really, really good. So I would highly recommend that you give it a go if you've got a spiralizer. Thank you for watching guys and see you guys again soon. Bye!